Well, if you're looking for one fighter in an alley to save your life, you could probably do worse than this man as we welcome back the UFC middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. A lot of people think his ceiling is championship and that eventually this man will be the undisputed UFC middleweight title holder. Seems to be a great stylistic matchup against a lot of these guys. He has power, he has speed, he has toughness, a chin that allows him to be aggressive. And when he's aggressive, he is at his athletic best. He is a total athletic freak off the charts. And tonight, trying to prove to people that he is a force to be reckoned and truly one of, if not the best middleweights in the world. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the USC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paulo, the eraser, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Bors Chibana! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Scramble, folks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And there's another takedown attempt. Oh, strong punch there by Costa. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around, the, around his guard. So just over 20 total strikes 
have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big ball punch lands. Big diving punch lands. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the pin. That'll do it! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So. Just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Oh.